Well, that's the situation in Nigeria. But, but sometimes I continue wondering the type of country that some people are. The contraption that is called Nigeria. Um, someone who is taking ganja, they say they want to deliver him. Is it to deliver him from ganja, taking ganja or what? Uh, because ganja, consumption of ganja is not a spiritual issue, right? It's a habit, which if you want to treat it, you tell the person to correction center. Yes, to re rehabilitation center. Not in the church to, uh, to, to start with. You can't correct such a thing in the church. And beside, um, you see, the so-called the GOs as well as the pastors are equally ganja people. They take ganja before going climbing the altar. So I don't understand the situation here. What does the pastor or the reverend try to do to deliver somebody from taking ganja? Why he himself is taking ganja? <laughs> well, of course, um, that is the situation in the Zoological Republic. That is why it is called the zoo, wonderful people. Men and women of good conscience, all of us are freedom all, all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our news digest. This still remains the group of each other. We are way breaking up live news across the Biafra nation, across the Zoological Republic, as well as in Africa and the, the world. Today, we are really, really elated as um, IPOB has equally come up with another ideology. Every now and then, IPOB continue instilling, you know, people continue developing our strategies. Uh, in this case, it is ESL. IPOB has gone so well, so long, in order to form another branch. Uh, well, should I say, let me not say branch, but they have uh, tried to increase um, and expand the number of ESL members, men or grand, those who are able and working. But this is a different squad. In this case, uh, this is a Southern Command that just graduated. This is the first batch of this particular operatives of the ESN. The training has been since our brother three months ago. And this has been taking place in Biafra Land. These batch of ESN are well trained specifically for arresting, capturing, and as well all these robbers, all these kidnappers and as well as some other missionaries, the Fulani missionaries, and uh, only, not only Fulani missionaries, there are other missionaries that the FG is bringing to Biafra land. This badge of ESN, we are trained specifically for it. They have undergone their training for over three months, and they just graduated. This is kudos to IPOB. This is kudos uh, to the ESN commander, the person in charge, uh, Mazi in the absence of Mazi the Kano. Would you say kudos to them? That's to show you that IPOB is working. It doesn't matter the amount of noise you might make. It doesn't matter how much jealousy you try to bring in. We know those who are fighting the records. And we probably know those who are there helping the DSS to see how IP. This one will not really be only in the bush. This one will be operating. I wish that our people will come up to understand what we are saying. And following that, we are just bringing to you the, um, should I say, the presentation of um, Professor Ujuaja. People now are rising up. Those who was taught that they have nothing to do much with Biafra, they cannot understand. The gospel of Biafra is continuing to be preached across the globe. It's not attracted more and more attention on daily basis as people are now going to hear from Professor Ujuanya what really happened, why she made the statement she made, and she has used this opportunity to direct to them what really happened, what has transpired, what has come about the Zoloko Republic that is called Nigeria today, how did Britain bring uh, different entities together, different indigenous people, different countries together, call it Nigeria, with arbitrary uh, territory. And you that you call them up. So people are coming to understand them. Please take a look and hear by yourself. That there was a genocide against the Biafra people. Right. Right. The, the, who were trying, you know, the Igbo people who were trying to form an independent nation of Biafra. They wanted to be separate from the country that the British 
empire had imposed on us, which was this country of Nigeria, where they kind of just kind of took a bunch of independent nations who don't have anything to do with each other, don't even speak each other's language, don't relate. Many of them were even enemies and warring at the time. Smushed them all together and drew these arbitrary lines around them mm-hmm. and called them countries and named those countries. Right. And then said, now y'all get along and do a country for us and be a, a union for us. And then go through, you know, contentious, bloody independence processes that never really yield any real independence. You're still part of a commonwealth afterwards. True. And you have the eternal meddling in your affairs and the eternal extraction of your resources and the eternal fomenting of divisiveness and infighting Mm -hmm. in order to be able to control you. This is what an oppressor does, a colonizer does. Uh, this is, these are, you know, tactics and strategies of dominance. Right. We were subjected to that as a larger unit of Nigeria. And then when the Igbo people said, we want our own thing, let's, let's go and, and do that. Well, it so happened to be that the territory that this new country of Biafra was going to be in included very, very rich oil reserves. Mm. And the British were not going to let go of that. Wow. And the people that they had put in power, you know, the, their puppet Nigerian governments weren't going to do that either because they needed it for the Nigerian project. Right. And Britain needed it for its own interests and uses. So Great Britain got directly involved in this civil war and in the war for independence and decided that they would do everything to make sure. Thank you, other for people. We must continue doing the best. As you know, we believe so much in the restoration of Biafra. And we know it is Biafra that will give us the freedom that we are here for. And because of that, we say that it is a Biafra that all of us have our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you be safe and blessed wherever you may be. Thank <laughs> you.